Hey guys, it's Dennis with Danny B Production and in today's video I want to show you the whole process of how I'm gonna go capture the birds, charge the birds and release them uh, back into the community in the morning. So come along and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this that can help you uh, become a charger and be a successful charger. So come along and uh, we're gonna go and capture these birds, uh, put it into my car and bring them back home for charging. All right, so we can see the birds right here, two of them on the map, and that's where I will be going to uh, capture those birds. So let's go drive over there and uh, capture the, these birds and bring them uh, home. So I'm heading to pick up those birds and it's indicated in green color and green are the easiest to find and uh, you're not gonna spend too much time because it's uh, readily available on the map. But if you see something like this, like in uh, red color, that means it's really hard to capture. It's uh, usually $20. It's not really worth your time because these scooters are normally inside somebody's house or inside somebody's property and you're not gonna be able to go there and capture them. So uh, I usually don't even look for uh, these uh, red ones and the scooters that are a little bit more difficult to find uh, are indicated in yellow color and these are called so could be on somebody else's property and the way they become uh, yellow and then turn into red uh, because the uh, chargers try to find them and capture and the more chargers go into the area and flag these uh, scooters because they can't find them the price uh, starts going up it's also hard to find scooters that are uh, yellow color. Most of the time when I look uh, for the scooters, I go for the green ones because I'm gonna uh, spend less time uh, looking around. And guys, as you can see, we're getting closer to location uh, of the birds I'm about to pick up. We're sitting at the intersection right here, about one minute away. So when this light turns green, we're gonna go and check this uh, place for the scooters. Uh, it's shown me, as you can see, there are two of them in one spot, one $4 and the other one's $3. And you can easily zoom in and zoom out with your two fingers. It's, uh, this map is easy to navigate and uh, uh, if you, uh, for example, want to know how to navigate to this uh, location through your GPS, you can just click on the green mark on the map and just hit this uh, this navigation arrow. It shows you the uh, the distance to the scooter. You just hit that, switch into the navigation app of your choice. I'm gonna choose Waze, and it's gonna uh, navigate you to that location. All right, so the scooter should be right in front of us or somewhere in this area. so we have captured the birds and uh, they should be in my task list so, so let's just go and check yes they in my task list the task list is showing the QR codes and also the uh, battery percentage 
and the release time so it should be released by 7 a.m so i got two birds in my task list i'm gonna go ahead and look around if there are any other birds available in the area that i can go ahead and pick it up so i have the scooters at home and before i go ahead and start charging these scooters i'm gonna do a quick uh, safety check just to make sure everything works uh, properly and it's 100% ready for the next day because as a scooter charger uh, your top priority is making sure the scooter is as safe as possible for our riders. First I start my safety check uh, with the throttle so the throttle should snap back nicely it works there should be a gap between the handle and the throttle and there is no gap so I'm gonna report this um, next I make sure the bell works and it does there should be a gap between the bra uh, brain and the bell there is a gap so that's good next I'm gonna move on onto the brake and I'm gonna pull the brake and make sure it feels tight as I pull but the handle should not touch this handle there should be a gap between so that's good I look at the handlebars and make sure uh, the handlebar, the top right here, is aligned with the front wheel and it looks like it's all uh, good. The, the handlebar should not be like twisted to one side or the other and uh, when the front wheel is uh, facing straight. I don't see a problem with this one. Okay, as I move down the neck, I make sure the screws are all installed and they also are tight. And uh, there are two on the front, two on the back, and looks like they're all good. Uh, the bird sign is not missing, and also the grommets. There is number one, number two, number three, and there is number four. Number four is present, but all number one, number two, and number three are missing, so I'm gonna report this as damage, uh, so that can be replaced by a mechanic. And also the collar, uh, there are some uh, screws right here and I want to make sure they not missing as well. And that looks good and it's all tight. Next, uh, I look at the wires and uh, the wiring should not be kinked or uh, pulled tightly. And it looks like this one's kind of loose so that needs to be fixed and it's missing a clip right here. So I'm going to report this as well. Uh, there are uh, reflectors, the stickers on, on two sides of the forks, uh, so these are present, that's good, and also there are reflectors on the back, we have one here and one here, that's all good, and when I pull the brakes, uh, the light should be flashing and that works. I look at the tires and just kind of feel with my hand, make sure it's not flat, this one's good, this one's good, I lift up the scooter and spin the back wheel and nothing's dragging or stopping the wheel, so that's good, it spins freely. I look, uh, I look at this wire and it should not be um, touching the, the wheel, so there is a gap, that's good. And uh, the kickstand is good, it's working properly. Nothing wrong with that. There should be uh, this cover right here, which covers the battery, the port of the battery, that's not missing. So I've gone through the safety check, I've noticed a few problems, there is no gap between the throttle and the handle and also the grommets are missing, so I will be reporting that on the BIRD app so the mechanic can go ahead and fix those problems. This is what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna open the BIRD app, switch into the charger mode, go into my tasks and choose the BIRD which I want to report as damaged and it's gonna be this first one. I'm gonna click on Mark Damaged and uh, choose the handlebars because that's where I have the issues. And in this box, I'm gonna describe the problems I mentioned earlier. All right, so I have described the damages. Uh, the handlebars are chosen. I'm gonna click Done and submit this to the support team. And it says Damage Report Received. Sometimes when you mark the bird as damaged, um, uh, which I just did, and you uh, hit it again and it's still showing mark as damaged, as if you have never marked it as damaged before. In this case, uh, what you have to do is go back and uh, go into help and click on uh, my tickets. And you need to create a new ticket uh, explaining uh, the issue uh, with this bird 
So here's the new ticket, contact us. This is where you explain uh, the, the damages uh, to the bird and include the ID number of the bird and also the pictures and submit it to their team so they can review this and uh, manually on their side mark the bird as damaged. So I did the safety check on this scooter. I have found the problems and everything has been reported to the bird through the app. Uh, right here I'm holding the charger in my hand and I will be plugging this scooter and charging overnight so it can be released 100% charged back into its community. Let's charge this scooter. I have one end and I'm plugging this into the outlet. We have a green light indicating that this charger works and it's plugged in. The other end I'm gonna plug into the scooter and the port is located on the left side below right here and the indication light turned from green into red and it means that the scooter is currently charging and also you can check uh, the battery percentage in your app in my tasks right now it's at 82 percent and it changes as it charges and uh, if you hit refresh uh, it will update and show you the current and accurate uh, battery percentage in case this doesn't work, this is your best indicator if the battery is fully charged or not. So make sure to look for the green light, uh, which indicates that uh, the battery is at 100% charged. And uh, this uh, scooter will be charging overnight, but will be released tomorrow between 4 and 7 a.m. Uh, to get a full payment. Next, in this video, I will show you step-by-step uh, step, uh, how I go about releasing the birds I have captured back into their nests between 4 and 7 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, and I will see you then. Good morning, guys. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm ready to release the birds uh, back into their nests, and this is how I'm going to do it. All right, so I'm going to open the bird app, go into charger mode, and go into menu and click on release birds and I will be looking for uh, gray icons just like this one right here a, a, a gray circular icon means that the nest is not reserved so you can reserve this one and the number inside of it means how many birds can be dropped at that location so uh, I have already uh, reserved my nest it's this one right here uh, it has uh, number three uh, which means uh, the, the, there are three birds that can be dropped at this location and it's in purple because it's already reserved when you reserve a nest it can be reserved up to uh, 30 minutes so let me just unclaim the nest and show you how to reserve it again so you click on it and hit claim nest and it says your nest will be reserved for 30 minutes and uh, before you go there you can um, click on navigate to the nest and uh, pick the navigation application of your choice Apple Google or Vase and uh, it will take you there or you can also uh, click on more details so before you get to the nest you know the address of the nest and also any additional information uh, with the, any directions uh, which tell you on how to release the bird and how many birds can be dropped at le that location. So you just look at this photo and release exactly how it's shown on uh, example photo. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna click on navigate to the nest and it should not be more than 10 minutes away. guys so we're getting closer to our nest location as you can see it's right there on the map we just have to make a right turn at the traffic light and it's right there on purple circle with number three it should be right here on the right side I'm 
gonna place this my scooters just like it's shown in the picture right there it's sh uh, it's shown uh, to place it right next to the uh, curbside and right in the middle of the bus stop so just make sure you're not blocking any uh, pedestrian way okay and uh, I already verified the location made sure I'm in the right place and it looks uh, right and it's also showing me I'm right here on the map and uh, you see the purple circle is right on the top of the bus stop so I'm gonna go outside take out the scooters I'm gonna place them in the designated uh, drop-off location let's step outside and release these birds I have on my task list roughly 10 inches apart from each other uh, make sure the handlebars are turned to the left next I'm gonna go ahead and release these birds uh, inside the app so you just click on the purple icon and click more details and then you click on release so you just before you release just make sure again it's in the proper location and uh, it looks right on the map and as you can see that's you right there and uh, the purple circle that's the drop, a drop off location and it has to be released before seven o'clock to get a full payment so hitting on this circle clicking more details everything looks right hit re uh, release and then uh, scan the qr code of each scooter and if it's too dark outside there is a flashlight All right, so one has been scanned. We scanned the second one. And there is one more spot available, but since I have two scooters, I can just click on the release and step back 10, 20 feet back and take a clear picture of, of the scooters. And it's a silver surrounding. All right, so we step back uh, 10, 20 feet back, and now I'm gonna hit, uh, click on release birds, and take a picture of, uh, of the birds and its surrounding area for the team's evaluation. They're gonna look at this picture and make sure it has been released properly and give me a score. All right, so click release birds. All right. And you can see there is a circle with number one in it. And that means that there is one more spot for one more bird at this location. And just to make sure, go back into the menu, go into my tasks and make sure that the birds have disappeared from your tasks. And that's how you release the birds into the nest. The birds have been released before seven and uh... I want to show you something really quick by going into the bird app and after you drop off um, the birds you can check something really quick there's a release rating and you can see uh, it says today and uh, there is number one because I've been only to one uh, drop off location and it says under review so uh, the team has to review the pictures uh, that I have taken at the end after I release the birds to, ma uh, to make sure it has been left at the right location 
and uh, uh, the picture looks right uh, with the scooters in it and it's a surrounding area. Uh, when you release the birds, make sure you have a Bluetooth on because if you don't have a Bluetooth on, you won't be able to release uh, the birds. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, uh, drop them in the comment section below this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, or if you have a specific video which you want me to record, uh, just let me know. I will be happy to do that. And until the next time.